Yeah, so Pesach Sheni, great, great uh, message. Uh, people who were Tameh come to Moshe Rabbeinu and they say, give us a chance. Why should we be deprived of bringing the Korban Pesach because we're Tameh? Moshe doesn't know what to do. He goes to God. God says, ah, oh, people who are Tameh, they can bring Pe Pesach, the Korban Pesach, a month later, Pesach Sheni. So the Chidushi Arim says, there are two very important lessons in Pesach Sheni that we got to apply to our Avodah Hashem. Lesson number one is God always gives you the second chance that if you want to serve him but you feel you're impure or you feel you're too far away, Derech Lechotah, Hashem will give you a second chance. But, 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 he gives you the second chance only if you wanted enough to ask for it. What would have been if they simply wouldn't have asked Moshe? What if they would have said, ah, it's too bad that we're Tame, but, you know, we can't do it. I, why would they even think to ask? If the halacha, as it was known then, was, you're Tame, that's it. So you don't ask. It's like saying, gee, I want to eat a cheeseburger. You know, ask God if I can eat a cheeseburger. Why would you think you have any hatred at all? But the answer is, they so much wanted to serve God that they couldn't contain themselves. They begged for the opportunity. So says the Chidushi Arim, the lesson of Pesach Sheni is, Hashem will always give you a chance. But you have to want it enough to ask Him. If they wouldn't have asked, there wouldn't have been Pesach Sheni. Pesach Sheni is what the Megubalim call Isarusa Dolatata, an awakening from below. It's your yearning to serve Hashem that causes Hashem to give you those opportunities. So those are the two basic points of Pesach Sheni, just a little short, short edition.